Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Hi. And uh, today is the first day of my Steph into Christmas series. Um, I know it sounds cheesy, but it's Christmas and I love it. And it was the only fun play on words I could think of. So yes, day one or episode one of Steph into Christmas. And today we will be playing with the beauty bay book of magic to create this look uh so yeah there's a few first impressions um of other products in there just thrown in uh, because i have so much stuff to try out uh so yeah without further ado if you'd like to see how i created this look using this palette then keep on watching so i've primed my eyes with the morphe eyelid primer um, it says it's translucent, um, but just have a, a bit of uh, colour there. Excuse Poppy. <laughs> um, so yes, the plan is to go purple and gold today using this beauty by Beauty Bay. And this is the Book of Magic. Um, and uh, this is what she looks like. Immediately, I want to play with blues and greens, but today we are doing a Christmassy purple and gold look. Seeing as it's the first day of Steph into Christmas. So, I'm firstly going to take, it's a Morphe brush, it's from the M -M -M Mitchell pack. And I am going to dip firstly into Sorcery, which is this purple here. And uh, let's see, I've heard so many good things about this palette. Ooh, that colour. So I'm just taking that one through my crease. It's actually blending out really nice. I wasn't sure because obviously it's a new primer also. Um, I've got so many new things to try. I've got to sneak a few new things in here and there. And it would have been a full face. But, uh... Mr. Fluff's joining in. <laughs> but I've been in so much pain today that I couldn't face doing a whole lot. Um... And the new medication they have put me on to help me sleep has made me feel really, really groggy. Um, yesterday wasn't too bad for grogginess, but today... <sighs> today's not great. But this will cheer things up. Okay, so there's our first colour down, Sorcery. There's a bit of, uh, just a bit of kick up in the pan. Nothing worth worrying about. And then I'm going to take Enchanted, which is this one here. And just using a Spectrum B07, I'm going to dip into that. And just blend out the, the edges. Okay, that's very pigmented. I think we lost a bit of our bit of kick up there bit of our sorcery so I'm just gonna go back in with that a little bit just to bring that back a bit they're blending really well together 
Look at that. I decided to flick that out a bit. I think I prefer that. And then just back in with the brush that I used for the uh, paler purple, not putting any extra product on, just smooshing the edges. Hmm. Not sure I'm loving the primer, but hey ho. And then next, just using um, a little fluffy brush from the Morphe and Mama Mitchell set. I am going into Voodoo, which is this dark purple here. And I'm just putting that in the outer V. There's next to no kick up with the shade. Just using it to deepen up a bit. Nice. Please excuse Mr. Fluff. I have no idea whatsoever what he is whinging about. I'm looking for, I don't know. What am I looking for? I want a smudgy brush. So just using this Soeva 226 smudger, I am going to take a tiny bit of that Voodoo, the dark purple, and just bring that in right close to my lash line. Like two thirds of the way along. just going into well just using that brush that I used for it on the outer V just gonna smudge it out a little bit not added any extra product just whatever was left on the brush and then going into sorcery the kind of the first one we applied I'm just going to buff over the edge with that and then just taking the spectrum brush that I did the lightest purple with I'm just going to use this just to smoke out the edge Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. I'm liking that. Um, so the lid, I have a choice. Oh, right, let me swatch these. Right, so the choices are this one, which is Stardust, and then this one which is alchemy and then this one which is oh okay crystal oh okay that's like a gold to green shift goldy brown green oh i think it's gonna have to be that I'm going to quickly pop some NYX glitter glue on my eyelids and um, just kind of fake a cut crease and then I'll be back to work the lids with you. Right, glitter primer is on and I've left it just to go a bit tacky. What I'm going to do first is going to charm this purple shimmer for the outer part of my lid 
um, just because I think that's going to blend better. Ooh, picks up a lot. And so this one, I'm just going to be placing on the outer edge. I'm just taking a little bit at a time because I don't want the fallout because I do have my base on. I do like that shimmer. That's that's nice. Feel it charmed. And then for the inner part of my lid, I am going into crystal which is this beautiful duo chrome and I'm just using oh I was just using a, uh, a makeup by Tammy brush for the uh, purple shimmer and now I'm using and now I'm using um, a morphe one from the M -M -M Mitchell collection all right let's have a see how well do you pick up with a brush Not bad at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is a pretty shade. It's not the easiest to pick up with a brush, but it's working. So I'm not complaining, especially when I look at that colour. Oh, that is so beautiful. Now, definitely not the easiest to pick up on a brush. You kind of have to swirl your brush around in it a bit. But for this colour, it's so worth it. Oh. Okay, not quite the golden purple that was requested, but I hope this is close enough. <laughs> I did try, but as soon as I saw this shade, it had to go on my eyes. And today I really need some cheering up, so this is definitely the way to go. Oh, and a bit more of that purple shimmer just to tap onto it, just to blend. Oh, wow, look at that! That is gorgeous. Um, so just taking a little bit of that darkest purple, I'm just going to smudge that in here. Hmm, I'm wondering. I wonder what that would be like for the inner corner, this one here, alchemy. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a go. So just taking a bit of alchemy. Yeah. Just for an inner corner highlight. And just dragging that under the eye a bit there. And 
and let's see what it's like as a brow bone highlight oh okay darker than I would usually go for but no, I can deal with that I'm really happy with how this is looking so far okay so that is the eye look pretty much done so I'm going to nip off camera and put the rest of my eye makeup on and then I'll come back with you because we have a new blush and highlighter to try so I'll be back in just a moment Okay, I'm back, eyes finished. Um, the lashes I have are from Artitude Cosmetics. They are in the Style Rebel. Uh, the eyeliner I have in my waterline is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in 22 Turquoise. The mascara is the Barium, that's how I roll. And I went ahead and popped um, some lippy on because I'm not good at doing it on camera. And it is the Lime Crime Velveteens in the shade Cashmere. It's a fave at the moment, love it. So, on to blusher and highlight. I have a new blusher and a new highlight to try. So, firstly, the new blusher is from Pout and Shout, and this is called Typhoid Mary. Stay home, save nine lives. <laughs> I love that. And this is this colour here. Beautiful. Uh, it does have a, a little mirror in this one, but it's tiny, so I'm not going to use that. So I'm going to take a bit of the, oh, very pigmented. I should have known that by uh, the other one I have from Pout and Shell. Um, very, very pigmented blushes, but they are, oh, wow. That's definitely another me color. Is it enough to replace the other one, Chatty Cathy? I don't know. I think it depends on the look. But I'm liking that a lot. And uh, yeah, you really have to make sure you tap off your brush because they are super pigmented. Super pigmented and I love them. So much so that I have another one coming. So nice. Yeah, another winner. Look at that. It is the perfect colour for this look, isn't it? Yep. Oh, wow. So, yes, Typhoid Mary is a winner. I knew I was going to love it. Um, Ooh, crikey because I love uh, chatty cafe right on to highlight I have this Sofex revolution highlighter palette um, with these colors here now I'm thinking because we're goldy theming it I'm probably going to go into this one up here they don't have names Nope, no names at all. I'm going to go into this one up here and see what that does. So let's see. Ooh. I don't know what I'm doing here. Making a mess. What are you like? Okay, that one. Did it build up? Now that one's a bit too subtle. So I'm going to go into the one next to it, this one here, and try that. Give the brush a swirl. Uh, that's more like it. That's a lot more like it. So yeah, that second one is the way to go. Oh, it doesn't seem to create a cast. Okay. I can get on board with this. Not quite my Ofra, but it's pretty. Okay. 
I just smush that in with the blusher brush just to blend them. Hmm. Yeah. I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. I think what I'm going to do is go over that highlight, brow bone highlight, with that lightest one, the highlight I tried first. Let's see if that does anything much. Yeah. Okay. For a brow bone highlight, that first one is actually quite nice. Yeah. Okay. Happy with that. Okay, so here is the finished look. What do you think? Um, Christmassy enough, definitely more of a Christmas party kind of look, but I'm really loving, just, I'm loving it. Um, into the first impressions, um, I put on the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. This is extremely runny. I did shake it, um, admittedly. Um, I don't have much energy and I'm in a lot of pain, so I might not have shaken it well enough. It's very runny, but it left my skin feeling, well, like velvet, um, which I'm not sure is my favourite. Um, not sure. Um, I do have the KVD Locket Foundation in the correct colour this time, or at least close to. Um, I have worn this before in the deeper shade, and it really does last all day, doesn't budge, it's non-transferable, still looks perfect at the end of the day so as a second impression but with the correct shade I love this. I tried the Catrice New Delusion Loose Powder, very impressed with this, it's a really really fine powder and it just left my skin looking flawless so very impressed with that so far, really loving that. Um, the Morphe Eye Primer I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Not so sure. So I will play with this some more before I let you know what I actually think of it. So far it's a bit, mm, it's okay. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um, the blush, <laughs> Typhoid Mary from Pout and Shout. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Uh, same as the Chatty Cathy, brilliantly pigmented, blends beautifully, very pretty colour, I love that, really love that. The highlighter palette, I've only tried two shades of, um, this lightest one is a good brow bone highlight, um, but it's a bit too pale, um, a bit too much of nothing for a cheek highlight in my opinion. Uh, this one worked pretty well. Um, they're not the most blinding highlighters on the cheeks, but you can see it. It's definitely there. So I'm going to play with that some more, but yeah, I quite like it. It's all right. Um, what else is new? And lastly, the Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay. Now this, so far... Obviously, I've only played with like the purple mattes and purple shimmer and the duochrome crystal. Um, that doesn't pick up so well on the brush. You can do it, uh, but it takes a bit of work. So that would probably be best applied with a finger. However, oh, the payoff, it's such a pretty colour. Look, you see, look at that. It's stunning absolutely stunning so first impressions just from the shades i have played with i'm loving it and i'm really looking forward to diving into uh especially the blues and greens yeah definitely and also i'm really looking forward to trying this black i want to see how black that black is yeah so you will be seeing this again um 
possibly probably in the lead up to Christmas we'll see but I definitely will be playing with that again um, as a first impression I love it I love this packaging look at this it's so pretty it's very aesthetically pleasing beautiful so yeah very impressed with that so this is the first look of Steph into Christmas I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please like the video give it a thumbs up it really helps me out if you are new around here then hi welcome I'm Steph I love colorful makeup and indie brands mainly um so yeah if uh, if you've enjoyed this video and you like colorful makeup indie brands then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload so yeah that is it from me today i hope you all have a brilliant day lovely evening take care of yourselves and i shall see you again very very soon goodbye <laughs>